Hey guys, and welcome back to my kitchen. I'm Linnea, and I will be your egg baking host today. Uh, I have a passion for bold flavors and creating something new. This here is new. Like I said, it's a ham and Swiss uh, croissant bake. So it's perfect for leftovers. If you ever have any like ham deli meat that you want to get rid of, um, extra cheese, it uses a little bit of everything, but in the end, it tastes delicious. So let's go ahead and get started. First, we're gonna be using six cups of croissants. So I'll put those right into our big bowl here. All right, and then we'll be using two tablespoons of olive oil and drizzle everything right on top. Okay. Then we have two tablespoons of melted butter here. Just keep it in. Perfect. We're gonna go ahead and cut up some garlic. All right, so I go, went ahead and grabbed three cloves of garlic, just giving it like a really rough chop. All right, so then grab your bread back closer to you. Go ahead and put your garlic right in. All right, we have one cup of heavy whipping cream, heavy cream, put it right over. Uh, one cup of whole milk. Three lightly beaten scrambled eggs. All right, we have two tablespoons of, like two heaping tablespoons of Dijon mustard. So long. Put it all in there. I have a teaspoon of cayenne pepper. You can use less, it's not a make it or break it type of thing. If you're sensitive to heat, definitely use less. Uh, we're gonna do a pinch of salt, pinch of pepper, and then I have some freshly rough chopped thyme. Go ahead and sprinkle that right on. All right, then we have two cups of just diced deli ham. My favorite is the ham off the bone or the black forest, whatever you prefer. The honey ham is really good too. All right, we're gonna chop up some mushrooms really quick. So I like to get the sliced portobello ones and then I go ahead and just give them another little rough chop. Literally just run your knife right through them. All right, go ahead and grab me your bowl again. This is gonna be one big full bowl. Go ahead, put your mushrooms in. All right, and then the last couple of ingredients are gonna be our cheese. So I went ahead and grabbed some brie. I like to cut off the, um, the coating or the, the outside of the brie cheese. Whenever it's like gooey in the center, I think it's perfect. So go ahead and get all of that brie cheese right in. And then I went and got some Swiss cheese, just shredded Swiss cheese from the store. Um, I like the finely shredded, but anyways, put that in as well. We're gonna give it a good toss and then put it right into our cast iron cookie. All right, we're just gonna grab our rubber spatula and get in there, give it a really good toss. Go ahead and use your hands if you feel comfortable. What is that thing on SpongeBob? Two hours later. <laughs> Tomorrow. Tomorrow for sure. All right, now after 10 years later, we can go ahead and put it right into our cast iron scallop. Yeah, this is again where the nice rubber spatula will come right in handy. Go ahead, grab your bowl and give it all into there. <laughs> all right, just gonna smooth it down a little bit. And I have some fresh rosemary that I cut up the other day. So I'm gonna go ahead and drizzle that right on top and then toss it in a 350 degree oven. Again, it's gonna take about 20 to 30 minutes. All right, you guys, we just took the bake right out of the oven. So again, 350 degree oven, 25 minutes. Smells so good. Let's go ahead and dish this up some and give it a taste. Oh, it smells so good. That Dijon mustard, you can smell that bite of it in there. Gooey cheese, get some ham. All right. It's so good. Again, the mushrooms add like this earthiness, nuttiness to it. It's so, so good. Perfect again for leftovers or anything that your family might love. 
it'll definitely fill you up with all of that croissant dough in there as well. All right, you guys, thank you so much for watching. Like, subscribe, and leave us a comment below, even like a funny little comment about how your family loved or disliked this dinner. All right, you guys, we'll see you next time. Thanks again.